This is a member shout out to Mary. Thank you for being a member. Today we're making my father's famous pasta salad. Hey guys, welcome to another Cooking with Chris. In this pot, I have water, salt, oil, and my strainer, and I covered it so it could boil faster. June 4th is my, was my, <laughs> father's birthday. And in light of that, I am going to make his famous pasta salad. So, yeah, you need pasta. Um... I would use elbow, bow ties, or um, penne would probably work the best for this. Now that your water's boiling, put in your pasta. Then you're gonna cook your pasta till it's al dente, stirring occasionally. Once you strain the pasta of the hot water, I put the cold water in. And then we're going to strain it again and put it in our bowl. Once it's strained for the second time, put it in your bowl. Now we're going to add oil, vinegar, and pepper. I usually add the oil first and mix. This is the oil I have today. Sunflower oil and extra virgin olive oil. Now we're going to get our white wine vinegar. Then I put my vinegar in. And what we're going to do is put the cover on. Make sure you have a bowl with a cover because we're going to shake it up a bit. Once it's mixed up a bit, then you're going to add your feta crumbles. You can crumble it yourself. This happened to be the cheapest in the supermarket, so we're going to throw it in. Once you have your feta and pepper, then we're going to put... Tomatoes. You're gonna take sweet grape tomatoes and cut them up or cherry tomatoes, whichever one, but use the little tomatoes. And that's what we're gonna do. Cut those whole package up and put it in here. Once all your tomatoes are in, put your cover on and shake, shake, shake. Now we're gonna add our last ingredient, which is... Scallions. We're going to chop them up and put them in there because what salad is not complete without scallions. Now, this is a Greek pasta salad. You're welcome to put olives. My family did not like olives, <laughs> so there are no olives in this, but there are lots of scallions. And there's also lots of flavor in this, and depending on what oils and vinegar you use, it's going to take a different flavor. You can use whichever ones you like. Two scallions, you can put in three, as many as you want. I think I'm going to put a little more pepper and Italian seasoning and shake, shake, shake again. Okay, so when I say Italian seasoning, guys, it's oregano, parsley, and chopped chives. That's what I use, plus pepper. Now, you can put some salt, but feta is very salty, so I don't recommend it. This is all I do to it. Then I'm going to shake it up, then we're going to put it in the fridge, and we're going to let it sit for at least an hour. Of course, use a bigger bowl. Because it was my father's birthday tomorrow, I made two packages of 7-ounce elbows. Usually I make one, and it fits in here, but it's hard to shake, shake, shake. It's hard to shake, shake, shake if it's too full, so use a bigger bowl if you're going to use two bags of pasta. This 2.5 ounce Pyrex will be fine if we used one. Now, it was not in my father's original recipe, but I always thought one day I'm going to add hard boiled eggs. So the next time we will, but for today, here we go. It sat for a few hours and it looks delicious. I recommend a spoon so you can get all the yumminess all at once and then enjoy. Thank you so much for watching another Cooking with Chris and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you again to Mary for becoming a member and thank you to everybody who views, subscribes and shares. We appreciate you.